On the 31st of August, we remember and honor St. Raymond Nonatus, who is a saint from Catalonia in Spain. If his surname Nonatus seems strange, it's because it is Latinized and means not born. Born in Portel when his mother had already died in labor, he came into the world by the dagger of his father, who took the child out of his mother's womb. Hence, he acquired the name Nonatus. Raymond's father owned several farms and he wanted Raymond to manage one of them. Raymond, however, was drawn to the religious life. He possessed a deep devotion to God and the Blessed Virgin. Nearby was the ancient chapel of St. Nicholas and he would frequently go there to pray and meditate. Eventually, his father realized that his son would not be a farmer and gave in to the boy's wishes to join the Mercedarians in Barcelona. Emboldened by his father's permission, Raymond told the Mercedarians that he had already taken a private vow of perpetual virginity and was determined to join them. He was accepted, and legend has it that St. Peter Nolasco, the founder of the Mercedarians, was the one who presented Raymond with the order's habit. Still in his twenties at his ordination, Father Raymond, in 1224, began his first redemption journey to Valencia, which had been conquered by the Moors. Raymond Nonatus managed to gain the freedom of 233 captive Christians. He was just beginning his work. In 1226, he travelled to Algiers in northern Africa, offering to become a prisoner in order to free another 140 captives. Three years later, he went back to Algiers again. This time, he was accompanied by his friend, Prior Seraphian. Prior Seraphian had become a Mercedarian after having fought alongside Richard the Lionhearted during the Crusades. He had decided he would rather surrender his life for captives than kill. Together, Seraphian and Raymond managed to free 228 captives from the prisons and dungeons of Tunis. St. Raymond's last redemption was in 1236. It was in Algiers again, and this visit is not known for the number of freed prisoners. Rather, it is known for the torture Raymond was forced to endure. Having exhausted all funds, Raymond stayed behind as a hostage. He spent his time in the dungeons preaching the message of Jesus and Christianity. His captors would have none of it. His torturers used a searing iron to bore holes through his upper and lower lips. Then they placed a padlock through the holes in an attempt to keep the suffering man quiet. The padlocks remained in place for eight months, at which time ransom was received for Raymond's release. He was returned to Spain in 1239. That year, he was named a cardinal by Pope Gregory IX. The following year, in 1240, he was summoned to Rome, but barely made it out of Barcelona, before he died at the age of 36. Tradition has it that the villagers, the local count and the friars, all claimed his body. They resolved the dispute by placing Raymond's body across the back of a blind mule. The mule was let loose and wherever it stopped would be Raymond's burial place. The mule ambled slowly to the chapel where Raymond Nonatus had prayed so frequently as a teenager. That is where he was buried and many miracles at the site have been attributed to his intercession. St. Raymond was canonized a saint by Pope Alexander VII in 1657. He is the patron saint of childbirth, expectant mothers, children and midwives. He is also patron for priests defending the seal or confidentiality of confession. Placing all our petitions before him today, let us pray. O Lord, in St. Raymond Nonatus, faithful worshipper of the Eucharist and loyal son of the Virgin Mary, you have given a fearless redeemer of Christian captives to your church. Faithful to the light of the Holy Spirit, may we follow the example of his unbounded charity 
in sharing the trials of the oppressed. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. Amen.